I am currently in Florida. We are on our way to surprise Saf for her birthday. Her birthday falls in between New Year's and Christmas. I messed up and I forgot to stop sharing my location with her, so she actually did see that I was at the airport. I managed to swerve pretty quickly. So it says that I'm in Georgia and she's in Florida, but I'm actually also in Florida. So I'm being really, really sneaky right now. I'm just really, really excited to see her reaction and spend the next couple of days with her, so yeah. Wow, there she is. Totally didn't just walk up the stairs or something like that. <laughs> Go get your luggage. My luggage. Your luggage. You guys yeah, lived there for a while or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Texting? Oh, um, I think she's texting you, right? She's texting me? Yeah. Okay. She's texting me. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, she's downstairs. Please go upstairs. <laughs> oh, she says okay. okay. Let's let's bring her stuff. <laughs> Alright, it's game time. This is actually Sam is the gift. Literally. Carry me. Um, yes. Why didn't you guys come in bows? I'm I, just confused. We should have. <laughs> I was like preparing for everything. I was like, if she ever looks at it, like yeah. everyone, please turn it off. But I was the one that didn't turn it off, and, and he I saw still, it. You know, it's so funny the fact that I was just like, my phone is broken. Like, I, it has to be me. So I was like, I should really? her mom. Oh, like, really? Like, leave her mom on Christmas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I left my mom on Christmas. <laughs> Deuces. Deuces, mom. We out here. It's <laughs> your birthday. Spa time. It's probably like the best massage I've ever had. Yeah, I know the massage was amazing. It's really good. Yeah, nice. Glowy and pretty. <laughs> Sam. Hello. <laughs> and me. I know I've been in your head like shade butter, honey. You go out and tell your friends that we ain't nothing. They be in the group chat knowing that it ain't one, honey. Tell your ex man, brush up on his openers, cause I'm in California trying to put you wow. in a house. Matching tattoo, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the bottle the night. Looks great. It doesn't look out of hand either. It's just a matter 
You're all decked out now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, do you have you told your followers uh, the story of how we were we were inseparable in high school, attached to the head. Uh -huh. One day Sarah was gone, and so Miss Herbert comes find me and she's like, "Where's your better half?" And I was like. <laughs> Why? <laughs> my girlfriend of the time was like, yes, yeah, you're all the bits of Sarah's brain she doesn't need. <laughs> like yeah. my tumor. <laughs> exactly. It's like the excess parts of my brain. But now look at me. Yeah. I've you grown. Are, you are your own. Now I'm malignant. <laughs> you are a lignant. <laughs> you are a limb. <laughs> really going out on a limb there. <laughs> guys, it's currently January 7th, 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. I started 2022 with a very honest uh, video about how I was feeling at the time, and I confessed that I was actually struggling a lot, and there were lots of parts of myself that I was really deeply unhappy with. I vowed to myself in 2022, it would be a year of transformation and a year of growth. I set myself two goals to hit by uh, July when I turned 24. And one of them was to lose weight. Um, I wanted to lose 14 pounds. And then another one was to basically start up YouTube and start posting uh, weekly, either three times a month or four times a month. And I had a goal of reaching 1000 subscribers by uh, I think July. So through this journey, I definitely definitely learned so much about pushing my own limits and just challenging myself and also just what my limits are and what I can and can't do and what works and doesn't work for me. I definitely made some very bad decisions for my health and for my mental well-being in order to hit these goals, but I think ultimately all of these choices that I made uh, really helped me learn something from it. The reason why I set these goals for myself is because I actually don't really believe in myself that much. I've never been somebody to set a goal for myself and expect that I can reach it. I've always seen myself as a failure. I've always had a very broken relationship with myself. There was always a voice that kept on telling me that I couldn't do it. I really wanted to fight that voice to prove that I was more than that voice and that I could reach my goals, I could do it, and I wasn't a failure. You know, to my surprise, I ended up hitting a thousand subscribers by I think two months before my goal and I actually hit my 14 pound weight loss two months before uh, my goal date of July. I don't think it's necessarily me getting over my fear of doing things outside of my comfort zone but rather me becoming comfortable with uh, discomfort. Bravery isn't the lack of fear but rather feeling the fear and going ahead and doing it anyways and so I think I really felt that this year where I tested so many of my boundaries and felt so much discomfort. Get up early every morning, taking cold showers, you know, um, going to the gym, waking up early to edit videos, putting myself up on the internet for everyone to see. All of these kinds of things were so uncomfortable for me and so difficult to stomach. You know, you fake it until you make it and your um, discomfort becomes your new normal uh, was something I really, really learned and really, really grew to appreciate. And so that's when it occurred to me that it is 
a continuous unlimited journey and i think that is what it is to be human right it's just the journey and what you learn and what you see and what you experience along this journey it was never about the destination and i still want to become a better artist a better storyteller a better person a healthier and happier person and so hopefully by creating more content on this channel i can inspire you to do the same and just be okay with being vulnerable with being honest about your true self your struggles and your successes because i think as artists and storytellers the biggest gift that we have is being able to connect with others with the stories that we have to tell hopefully i can help you on that journey of you telling your own story to the world and so i will always be here rooting for you and trying to set a good example by reaching my own goals and telling my own story as well so to everyone who supported me in 2022 and found me thank you so much for following and for watching my videos i can promise you 2023 is going to be a very exciting year and this is honestly just the beginning so um thanks so much for watching guys i'm excited to continue along the journey with you guys in 2023 and um yeah i will see you guys in the next video happy new year mm -hmm.